So, breaking news uh, in the last couple of hours, Lauren Boebert is getting divorced. And even more surprising, or at least allegedly, her husband was completely blindsided by this whole thing. Now, the details are a little iffy at the moment, because like I said, this is just breaking news at this moment. And we'll probably be finding more out about it over the coming days. But, essentially, uh, Lauren Boebert, you know, the one, the far-right Republican Trumpster that is insanely transphobic and, you know, has been essentially railing against women's rights and has been railing essentially against any sort of, you know, the quote-unquote woke agenda you know, the typical McCarthyist that comes from these fascists. That Lauren, Lauren Boebert, the one that was also an escort prior to being a congresswoman, and no body shaming, no slut shaming, none of that here. But, it, but you know, the so-called party of family values that they want to claim so much to be, yet meanwhile they're out there essentially brainwashing children into their Christian cultish fundamentalism and trying to, you know, essentially indoctrinate the entire American public with this ideal of, you know, with essentially this second wave McCarthyism, third wave Red Scare, essentially. The, you know, this part, the party of family values that talk so much openly about, you know, let's protect the children, yet is passing laws to remove age of consent and child labor laws and sending, you know, perpetually, you know, votes to send their kids to war. Well, not their kids, but your kids. Um, you know, the one that is perfectly okay letting, you know, children die who happen to come out as trans because they think that, you know, oh, well, they're just being indoctrinated. It's like, oh, they're too young to, you know, be taking those drugs and making those own, their own decisions about that. That part, that, you know, that whole party of family values that allows, you know, crooked people like Trump, who was married four times and cheated on every single one of his wives, the party of family values where the same man, you know, has to settle a bunch of rape lawsuits, including one that just ended with a five million dollar uh, handout to the victim, which by the way isn't his money because he doesn't have money. He doesn't have, you know, he has tied up assets that are essentially bankrupt anyway. The only, the money is coming from his brain-dead, stupid, gullible supporters on the far right. So he's not the one paying him. His stupid supporters are. Which, frankly, I think at the end of the day that ends up being, you know, a fair trade. You know what? You want to play stupid games? You win stupid prizes. That's all I have to say. But I digress. The, that party of family values that, you know, is perfectly okay with letting a former escort you know, be, be one of their poster ch children for th this bullcrap, is n and is now getting divorced. I love it. I, I I just love the hypocrisy from the ab from the far right. I love when when we see these stupid little things come out, and of course it's going to be fun watching, of course them and Fox News and other right-wing media outlets trying to, you know, trying to find a way to sugarcoat this, to try to make, you know, to spin this so it doesn't seem quite as bad, you know. And they will. They're going to find a way to do it, and they're going to do it successfully because they're pe the people that listen to them are absolute stupid fucking idiots. So, yeah. The pa party of 
of family values. You know, the one that talks about protecting the, the children and everything like that. And yet has more divorces probably on their side of the aisle, you know, than Bill Clinton had blowjobs. <laughs> so, I, you know. So, yeah. That is what it, where it stands right now. Lauren Boebert is getting a divorce, and we are going to see... And and the thing that gets me is that, again, allegedly her husband was blindsided by it, which kind of leads me to believe that, you know, old habits are just sometimes hard to break. And eh, eh, Lauren, is that kind of how it's going? Uh, well, you know what? Now she has a lot of time to, you know, go back to her old her old job. So, I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs>